Time Machine lets Mac users back up operating systems, applications, and personal files locally. To use Time Machine, you'll need an external drive plugged into your Mac. Make sure it's large enough to fit your data. Once it's plugged in, you might see a prompt to use the drive as a backup disk. If not prompted, you can get started with Time Machine and customize it more by opening System Preferences and selecting its icon below. In the menu, we'll be able to adjust a few preferences. First, click on Select Disk to view compatible drives and select the hard drive you want to use. A progress bar will appear as Time Machine sets up this drive to be used for backups. If you'd like Time Machine to update regularly and automatically, you can click Backup Automatically. Remember, you'll need the external drive plugged in for those backups to be made. Otherwise, you can leave it unchecked and make manual backups. On the bottom, you can add Time Machine to your menu bar, which is a helpful way to quickly check when your last backup was, run a manual backup, and access those saved files. Clicking Options lets you select specific portions of the system to exclude from backups, such as large applications that you can restore on your own if needed. If you choose Time Machine to backup automatically, it'll start a countdown and begin the first copy soon after your drive is selected. If you want to run your backups manually, the fastest way is via the Time Machine icon, where you can start a new backup immediately. To use Time Machine, navigate to a folder where you want to restore or view older data. In this case, with our desktop open, we can open Time Machine with the icon, or hit Command Space and search Time Machine to quickly launch the recovery interface. The desktop folder will appear first as it is today, and there will be a scrollable calendar here of prior backups. Clicking on an older date will show you what files existed on the desktop that day. If you see a file to recover, click on it and then hit Restore. Time Machine will return to the desktop and complete transferring the recovered file from the backup to the current desktop. You now have the saved file available and can return to Time Machine to scroll and select more from anywhere the app is set to backup.